As the Pentagon's top lawyer, Jay Johnson played a key role in the legal reasoning for U.S. use of drones against al-Qaeda overseas, controversial because the targeted drone attacks have also killed innocent civilians. Johnson laid out his views in this speech last year at the Oxford Union. How will this conflict end? It is an unconventional conflict against an unconventional enemy and will not end in conventional terms. His role may be controversial to some on the left. At DHS, drones are used mainly as eyes in the sky. The only way they use unmanned vehicles is for surveillance purposes. And the rules are very different, and they ought to be very different. An issue Republican Senator Rand Paul famously filibustered over. Johnson's support for national security agency surveillance programs and his criticism of military detention of terror suspects could also come up. He's already being challenged as untested in some areas. There are gaps in terms of immigration, first responders, uh, the other parts of DHS, uh, you know, the component operating parts. Congressional reaction to the nomination has been favorable on the left, but Republican Texas Senator John Cornyn said he had grave concerns and questioned Johnson's management and law enforcement qualifications. Rather than selecting someone who knows the unique dynamics of our southern border, President Obama has tapped one of his former New York fundraisers. And that could be a problem for Johnson, too. The Center for Responsive Politics labels him a bundler in fundraising for President Obama, meaning he helped the president raise big money by calling on friends to help. By the way, no word tonight from Republican Senator Rand Paul, the drone critic, on what he thinks of this nomination.